Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Lacey with Living with Lacey. As you can see, I have my little grand dog here with me today and she's excited about being on YouTube, right? Say hello, say hello, turn around, look around Maple. Anyway, hey, today I, I just figured that it is almost 2021 and if you're like me, you're trying to get ready to organize your space, organize your planner. And so I just wanted to give you just a little desk tour to see how I organize all things planner. So once again, thank you for joining me and let's get started. Okay, let's start with the desk. My desk is from Ikea. Um, if you notice, it's just one of those plain uh, desks that usually has a white top to it with um, silver legs. And so what I did, I spray painted the legs gold. And then from Amazon, I ordered this beautiful uh, marble stick on paper that you can put on here. And I'll link it all in the description box. And then this top is also from Ikea. And I will link that in the description box. It, I, I, Y'all, I love this. It's a game changer. Um, it did take up a little bit of my space. But what I really love about it is that it also gave me some drawer space. I have two of these little calic shelves from Ikea also. So on my desk, this, and I made it kind of like a little L shape, if y'all can see. Let me get over here a little bit so you can really see. So it's kind of like a little L shape. This is my office. If you've seen my office tour, if you haven't seen the office tour, I'll link it below. Um, it's time for me to do another one, but this is what it looks like when you walk into um, my room. I'm not finished with my Christmas tree, so don't talk about me, friends. It's not done yet. I'm working on it, but I wanted to just stop and share how I set up my office. All right, so let's get into the things that are actually on the desk. So I have this little container. It's just a glass container. It's glass and gold. Um, it's really one of my favorite pieces. And so I got this from Home Goods last year. And in it, I just have some pictures. Um, this is something that I cook that I'm going to put in my recipe book. And then I keep the, my favorite washi tapes that I actually use. All of these from... from uh, happy planner I believe yeah all my favorite little washi tapes and I have in here some stickers from cloth and paper the memo pad from cloth and paper some of their little cards that they have in here dots from cloth and paper linen and nude and then I have the message um, notepad from cloth and paper another um, notepad and then just some paper. So this just holds like little notepads. And then I have a stapler that I got from Target. Y'all, the stapler was normally, I think like $12. I got it for $3 last year. And then I have this uh, gold cup I got from Home Goods. I keep pens in here that are not my favorite pens. They're pens, so when my husband comes into my office, these are pens that he can use. Mm-hmm. All right, then I have a little plant. Oh, and then over here, I have um, just a boss lady sign that I also got from Home Goods. A bed and bath, um, bed and body works candle, it's champagne toast. It's actually my daughter's favorite. She loves it. Um, these are my two beautiful girls. And then I have a little hello sign. I uh, got that from Home Goods. I'm, I'm thinking most of everything came from Home Goods, right? Home Goods, IKEA, and probably Amazon. All right, and then let's go inside of these drawers. So inside the drawers, y'all, this was looking like a hot mess not too long ago. So inside the drawers, what I've placed in here are these, let's see if I can pull one out. This is basic, basically a container from Target. I just bought these a couple of weeks ago. They are $1. I saw someone else on Instagram. They had them to use to organize. They actually have lids to them that you can purchase also. So you can buy the whole thing for $2. But in here, I put my, um, these little, I call them half letter sheets. They're half of a half letter. No, I don't know. 
these little sheets from cloth and paper and I have various ones and look how they just fit so snug in here Let me pull this out get out get out get out here we go look how all of these just fit just perfectly in here, right and this fits really snug and so here I have some of the sticky notes that I've received from cloth and paper and then these are like my extras so I have like um, cards journaling cards all the little journaling cards that we got from cloth and paper and then i have in here some square page flags that i keep right here some of my um, paper clips and some other page flags so really organized right but before i wish i would have had a before picture because it seriously looked like a hot mess hot mess all right over here on the other side all right so in here i have my remote controls to my television um and then i went through my happy planner sticker books y'all which i have so many i'm trying i'm getting ready to sell them off um and i just pulled out things that i know i would use like the icons that are just kind of like minimalistic and um pulled out things that I would use um, and so I think that's helping me plan better also I have these um, pen loop holders I got from Amazon this is great to add in your planner if you want to have an extra um, extra pen and then I have some push pins because I actually have a little board over here push pins and over here is glue and then this goes to my um, little board uh, this came from Hobby Lobby. Thought it was so cute, and I use it to keep little paper clips. Um, I use tweezers a lot to put down little dots, and so that's really cute. All right, uh, I'll let you see up here. This I just did a little living with Lacey with my Cricut and all of my um, social media outlets, and this says, "Don't settle for less just because it's available." love that and crazy happy and then on the next shelf I have some old glasses um, pens disc washi tape and then some extra happy planner things that I do not use I do not use I, I changed this board out this is just a regular cork board from uh, Michaels and I got these little lights um, from Amazon and these lights y'all I probably had this up for a year these lights have lasted forever they're not battery operated they're plug-ins and they've lasted forever I love them okay now over here on top of oh did I forget my Cricut love my Cricut I went ahead and looked at these little um, I don't know if they're lilies like water lilies uh, but I loved them and so I printed it out in gold and put it on my Cricut all right, the next thing, this is my new little area over here because I really needed a place to organize everything that I was receiving from cloth and paper. I get the box every month and four months into it, I was like, oh my God, where am I keeping all of these things? And so here on top, I got this from Amazon and I'll link all of these things that, that I definitely got from Amazon. I have an Amazon store you can check out where most of these items are here. These are my favorite pens. So this is the Sarasa Dry. I usually keep it in my planner. And then this is Jelly Roll and uh, Micron Pen. I just recently got this one. You see this one, this name? This is the one that you can use to write on those uh, transparent page flags. I need to put my glasses on so I can see. I'll link it too. <laughs> and then I have some sticky notes right here. Underneath this, this is my goal setting um, planner. Or agenda it's just a tool cover with some clear um, disc and I use that for goal setting I just picked this up for Christmas y'all isn't that cute from paper studio use my 40% off discount um, at Hobby Lobby and this is gonna look really cute planning for Christmas although I've decided to go minimalistic I've always been functional I still like a little decorative y'all so when you open up these drawers this is everything for my half letter so I have my brand new, so ready to open 2021 dated dailies. Um, also have my 2021 
monthlies in here. And then I just have various papers that I receive from cloth and paper. Just all in here. And this this right here has really kept me organized. I also have this, I got this from this whole thing from Amazon. Usually people use it to put their makeup in. Um, and I, I have one for makeup, but this is a game changer when it comes to keeping your, your items. So this is, um, this is more, but these are kind of like blank, blank pieces of paper. So I have some tool paper in here, some other cloth and paper, other tool, storyboard from um, Levenger. So these are more like blank, blank sheets of paper that I would use. And then down here, I try to keep my um, items for my mini. And so this is my vertical with the weekly line for 2021 for many. And then I have some extra paper for many. I have some dailies in here. And I put these, um, these linen sticky notes inside of here. They just seem to fit better. All right. And then I got these uh, kind of like business card holders. And the business card holders is what keeps all of my little sticky notes and my extra journaling cards inside of here. So this, this is a game changer. I'm always gotta have some plans. Uh, behind me, um, I know this is not part of the desk, but I thought I'd go ahead and show y'all. I got this little setup from Ikea. It's like really cool. I'm gonna change all of this washi tape out and put all the washi tape that I actually wanna use. And then I have some markers over here, scissors, other pens, and more washi tape. Just a little note planner. Um, down here, and I try to keep this really organized. These are some old planners that I have. I even have a Erin Condren all the way back there that I've used. I put it back in the box. Um, this is where I keep the pads from cloth and paper along with my label maker. So here is my scotch laminator and then I just have a uh, cutter down here. And then below there are some more um, planners. <laughs> That's a lot of planners, right y'all? And then I just have a box down here and got a couple of uh, scrapbook papers down there. And then... <laughs> This is more, more washi tape. Does anyone need washi tape? More washi tape. I also keep my items for my Cricut, some miscellaneous items, and some Happy Planner items. So I want to share with you how I kept my, all of my planner supplies organized. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. If you have not subscribed to this channel, please consider partnering with me and subscribing click on that notification bell and y'all know i like comments so let me know what you think about this desk tour have a great week